Hi, and welcome to another Pro Series Supportability video. Today we're going to go over how to do an amended return. And I have a return already in home base that was previously e filed and accepted. So, what I'm going to do now is open the return. And then, what I'm going to do firstly is I'm going to go to File, Save As, and I'm going to create a separate return out of this. I'm calling it amended. You can call it whatever you wish to, as long as you recognize that it's an amended return. And I hit save. The next thing that I'm going to do is unmark it for e-file. You want to do this so that it doesn't conflict in the EF home base. It also doesn't matter to some extent with this particular filing in that uh, Pro Series doesn't support e-filing the amended anyway in 2019 Pro Series uh, and prior. Uh, either way, I unchecked it and now what I'm going to do is open the 1040X return. I'm going to type X and I'm going to click OK to open it. This form doesn't really require much um, user input. Uh, you, all you need to do is activate it, okay, depending on the tax year. In this case, this is 2019, so I'm going to check the 2019 box, and you'll see that uh, pertinent information from the taxpayer carried in. There is one error that will usually appear in this form that has to do with the reason for the changes. So I'm just going to indicate in, in this case that um, the client <clears throat> didn't provide me a copy of Form 1099 INT. Now with that in place, I'm going to go to the Schedule B. Again, there's no data that's really coming into this form that, that pertains to the original filing. But you'll note that as soon as I enter this information, this is the new information that should have been part of the original return, okay? So I'm going to hit Payer 1, and the client received um, $500 of interest. And now I'm going to go back to the 1040X and compare. And now you begin to see other information flowing into the return relating to the uh, interest. And the same applies. So you, the main thing you want to understand is uh, from all of this is when you are ready to amend the return to save it as a different uh, file with a separate name, you want to unmark it for e-file. You want to activate the 1040X, okay, and include a reason for the, the changes. And then just go into the return like normal and add the additional data that you need to. You don't enter it directly on the 1040X. I hope this was helpful. Thank you for listening.